there's something yeah. that you'd, you want to ask you want to um probably not from there yeah, but, yeah um, one of yours i don't know maybe just in terms of like being single like mm. i enjoy being single right now mm -hmm. and as much as i like want to be in a relationship and stuff yeah i don't really want to be looking for one i want to be in a, an environment like almost like i was saying when you have school you have uni and you just naturally have like a a thing where you meet someone and you get to that certain point so mm. unless it's like hobbies or the gym or whatever like where else do you get that opportunity like if it's not dating apps so where how, can you meet guys how are you meeting people i know you mentioned about the salsa thing oh yeah salsa, didn't actually salsa get to really go into it. but um yeah things like that would be really cool to hear about because i don't know like most of the time as a single person we don't know what to do with yeah. our time if, if it's not something that we've already organized or we already want to do or whatever yes when we stop for a minute and we're like oh what should i do yeah oh yeah maybe i should get like talking to someone because i do know that's something i I want to do as well. Sure. It's just not my priority right now. I so. hear that. Okay, so what for when you? it is your priority. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably what I should have said, yeah. Um, so outside dating apps, <laughs> yeah, being in environments where there are more guys, but also mm. any social environment where you're out with your girlfriends, mm. guys can still come and approach you. And there's a way you can lead them to approach you. Do you know what I mean? And most women don't know how to do that. But also don't be, now, I do say you should be not be afraid of approaching a guy, right? But if you don't want to do that, there's a middle ground. But that does require a level of intention. I get it's like, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for a guy. And I agree with that. You shouldn't be out here like I'm looking for a relationship. Mm. But I think it is good to have intention, especially if we're in an environment where there are men that you like or that you want to attract. So like, if you're out with your girlfriends at a bar, there's a guy in the room that you're like, oh, he's nice, yeah. Then send him choosing signals that you like him. Such, make, as? such as making eye contact, smiling at him, right? Even give him a little wave. And I know that sounds a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. that, so that sounds a lot, <laughs> but it's not because all you're doing is you're inviting him to come and talk to you. Once you've done that, and I've said this before, um, if you're in a group of girls, right, and you send him these signals and you know that he's noticed you. Girls, you, you know if a guy's noticed you. You know guys who you don't even want to notice you notice you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so the guy that you actually want, you send him these choosing signals, right, and then you have to separate yourself from your girls. You have to give him the opportunity to come and talk to you because... If you stay in your group of girlfriends, doesn't matter how much you guys are looking at each other, nine times out of 10, he's not coming to say hi because he's a, approaching a pack of wolves in his head. Mm. And even if you want him to approach, if one of your girlfriends be like, nah, get away. Publicly, you can't, you can't take his oh, side yeah. over hers because that's your yeah, girlfriend, that's right? Not, no. So you can even like a guy and one of your girlfriends could cock block you. <laughs> Unlike, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that's why I always say, and it could be as simple as, oh, I'm going to go get a drink from the other side of the bar where I'm by myself. And he just waiting to get a drink. If you've been sending him choosing signals, he's an attractive guy, probably a level of confidence. He's going to come and speak to you. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how that would play out when you're with your group of girls. The girls would be like, where's the pecan? Is she all right? Is she okay? <laughs> of course. I've literally had that happen before. A hundred percent. But that's, but it's, because most guys are afraid to approach a woman, hmm. especially if he finds her attractive. Be like, so you have to give him, A, you have to give him the permission to approach you, which is the choosing signals, and B, you have hmm. to give him the opportunity to. What if it's not in like a setting like that? What if it's like- Give me a setting. Like, <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird, but like, say if you know someone on Instagram. Do you know them personally? Yeah. Okay. But like, you're not like very close of them. Sure. Maybe they're in and amongst a group of people that you know, <clears throat> or like you've met them once out and about. Yeah. How would you maybe approach that scenario? Because. So it's someone you're connected with on socials, but essentially sliding into their DMs. Yeah. But I think for women, that's not the easiest thing. 
Why? Because that just comes with so much connotation. Like just res- you just respond to their stories. You don't have to start into the DMs like, hey, how you doing? But you see their story, if they're out and about, they're like, yo, how was that? Start a conversation. Mm. Yeah. So if you see them out and they're like, they went to see Chris Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh my gosh, like, I went two weeks ago. How insane was it? Yeah. Yeah, that was so good. Blah, blah, blah. Start a conversation. Yeah, that's good. That's the best way. I think as a girl, that's the best way to slide into someone's... I think any girl, anyone actually, because even when a guy does it, just flat out, like it just seems so bait. It just seems so obvious. <laughs> but if you're just replying to someone's stories, I've had it before. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's good. When where you like, say it like that, it does sound so normal. Yeah. Mm. I've had it where like a girl was like responding to my stories almost all the time. Not all the time, but like there was, there was like, I noticed an increase in frequency in her responding to my stories. And then we just started a conversation and then we ended up dating for a bit. Okay. So it works. Yeah, that's one way. Give us so, another so scenario. So it works. Yeah, it does work. It works. <laughs> it works. If he, if he finds you attractive and he likes you, then yeah, like, he'd be like, why not? Pow.